Okay, Steve, thanks for joining us. Lovely to catch up with you. And wow, uh, just before we start, just looking at the background, looks very impressive. Have you seen something like that? <laughs> yeah, um, that was my, my evening share for my debut at uh, under 17, and that was my middle debut share for my Carabao Cup. Brilliant. Pride of place, are they then? Aye. Uh, what you got to try and do is add a few more to them, but unfortunately, at the moment, that's all been stopped. Let's let's talk about how are you coping? I'm all right, to be honest. I'm I'm good. I've uh, enjoyed being at home, spending time with my family and stuff. I've enjoyed it, but I'm missing football. I've been for a long time, you know what I mean? Missing it doesn't. It's not the same way as helping back out. <laughs> <laughs> are you still doing the? A, a workload from the football club or, and, and your exercising and your skills in your back garden? I mean, yeah, I've been doing all sorts, but I've been get, getting on my work and crew. Being crew's been doing all my work, so I've stuck to their programme. And, um, yeah, I've just been doing what the crew manager wants me to do and all, and Liam and the, and the fitness staff. So that's why I've been sticking to them, doing that programme that they've been sending me. And then we've been doing these Zoom calls doing like sessions and stuff, it's been good, it's been good, but just want to be back now, get, get yeah, back to it. it. It gets on and on, doesn't it, as the weeks and the months go on, it's getting a little bit, unfortunately, I suppose monotonous now, and a little bit boring, but the, the programme that you've had is obviously, it's, it's not like training day in and day out, but it, it's obviously got to help you, hasn't it? Yeah, we're there for a reason, do you know what I mean? We want to be, um, we want to be ready when we get back. We don't want to, get back and be slack and we want to be ahead of the other teams. We want to have done more than what they've done. So when we come back, we should be fitter, better. And hopefully we can go and win the league or at least get promoted. That's the plan, do you know what I mean? You're like everybody in, in, the, in the world of, of football. We're all waiting to see what, what is going to happen next. What's your gut feeling, Steve? How do you feel about it all? Well, honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. I don't. I don't know. I don't have a feeling. I have no idea what what's going to happen. I really don't. Um, hopefully, we can get back playing. Hopefully, when it's safe to do so. But we don't want to be risking people's well-being and health for football. Because at the end of the day, like your health comes first. But. I'm, I, I couldn't. I really couldn't tell you what's going to happen. I um, I hope we get to a point where it's safe for us to come back and play. That would be ideal. Yeah, I think that's what we're all hoping for. It's a fearful time, isn't it, for for sporting the sporting world? Is it something that you've discussed with your family? Yeah, a few, a few times. But like like I said, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like we we literally don't know. We're waiting for. For the government's advice and speech and stuff to hear. When, when I've spoke to when I've spoke to the gaffer, he he's, he he said just make sure you're ready for whenever we're gonna come back. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be ready and do as much as I can in the in the space in the time that I've been given. What are you missing most, Steve? What 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 are you missing as a, as a young footballer? Young footballer. Um. Oh, what am I missing most? The mass days, it has to be. The mass days. When the whistle blows at three o'clock. Unbelievable feeling. Unbelievable. Like, I miss that a lot. Even as a fan, even watching a game. Mm. I miss watching the game. Do you know what I mean? It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's, 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 it is a horrible time, but you, you, you're coping well and you, you're settling really well. Uh, crew, haven't you? You know, y your background's been there with Middlesbrough coming through their academy, which is highly rated and well renowned, set you up nicely, and you you fitted in well. You must feel as though you've become, uh, you know, a, a nice feeling for you. Yeah, I think that's that's a big credit to the gaffer and the lads and even the fans. Like they've just they've all woke me about nice. So it's been it's been an easy it was an easy transition it was an easy process to come to a group, especially with a lot of the lads being young, 
we've got one of the youngest teams in the league and it's like I'm I'm young myself and they're only like about around my age so that was easy I slotted in the dressing room quite well and then the fans the fans are un, un, like unreal do you know what I mean to show the support straight away for me and the gaffer as well the gaffer is like he back, he back me he gave me my chance when he felt I earned, when he felt I earned it and um, can't say a bad word about anything to be honest it's been a it's been a really good process. I've enjoyed it. Well, talking of the fans, it wasn't too long ago when you were celebrating with them. That Macclesfield game is still there. <laughs> to mind, is it? Those, those celebrations, that <laughs> goal, win, famous day, granddad and grandma, grandma there and family there. It, it, it's, a, it's a memorable thing. And you never know, it might just be quite a long time. Not that you won't be scoring goals again, but there might be no fans there. It's going to be different then, isn't it? Yeah, I jump into the ten stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you jump into the seats. Yeah, that that was a great day for you, wasn't that goal? Yeah, yeah. It was my it was my first senior goal it meant a lot to me. I've been waiting waiting to score for a long time, and um, the crew the crew fans when I scored it erupted, <laughs> and I just got. I just got excited. I thought, oh, let's let's celebrate together. <laughs> was, was it a yellow card as well? Yeah. It's worth that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, don't, don't worry about that. It, it, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, you're a young footballer. You know, you're really trying to make your way in the game. Coming through a system like you have done at Middlesbrough, and you had a, a short spell at the MK Dons, and now you here at Crow Alexander. Just what is happening in the world at the moment and with the world of football, has it made you more determined, you know, this, this time out that when you do come back, you're going to... I'm not saying you weren't determined before. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying... Do you think there'll be more hunger there for you to say, right, what sport I'm involved in? Not, not really, <laughs> to be honest with you. I've no, always been... I've yeah. always been determined... This just, this just, like it's a, it's like a delay for me. It's just like everywhere I go, I want to, I want to be the best I can. I want to do the best I can, no matter what. This is just this situation in the world is just a horrible thing that that we have to all wait to and just get on with our lives. While in the meantime, people like me and you are thinking, I can't wait for when the football is going to be back on. Do you know what I mean? That's like. We live for, for stuff like that, so like that's that's what I'm I'm, I'm missing. Yeah, I am determined. I think I feel like I'm a determined person. I want to be the best, the best at everything. If we, me and you had a game game of mini golf in the garden, I'd want to be. Uh... <laughs> I'm glad you said mini golf because that's about my level. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say keep up, is it something like that? But yeah. <laughs> uh, it'd be a problem if I wouldn't win. Yeah, well, that great answer. And I think that's what the fans take to. They want to hear that from, from, a, from a young footballer. That he, you know, he isn't more determined. That's what you, you're inside him. Let's put another question to you then in terms of looking at young players. You've come through that academy. You're 19 going on 20 years of age next time. And you've come to crew who's renowned for their academy as well. Unfortunately, financially, football is going to change no matter what happens and when we get played. It is going to change. And do you think that can help the clubs like Middlesbrough, who are well documented for their academy uh, production, and clubs like Crew, well documented for producing their own players? You think this could be a positive that co comes out of it? Yeah, def definitely. 100%. I think Middlesbrough and Crew are the same. Like, the. Um... They're quite similar, sorry, in in the way that they do things. And then, um, obviously, Middlesbrough have got a good academy. They've, they've got numerous like players who are playing in all through the leagues that have came through the academy. And then, crew, you see, crew have got players that have went on to even even higher higher levels. So it's like I think they are quite similar in that aspect. Um, but. Yeah, of course. If obviously, it's nice to see young young players in England getting developed by their own clubs and getting first team opportunities. Like I'm a young lad myself. I know how hard it is to get that first chance. 
and like that's all you want. You just want that chance to be to be selected so you can prove yourself. And I feel like the clubs that do give players a chance, the young lads a chance and they do well, they end up everyone benefits from it because you get a better player getting experience in the games and then the club have now got a young talent. It's where that's a big asset to them now. So I I, I do really um really like when clubs give young young players a chance. I think that's a big thing. Your short term goal would be now to come back if it, when we get the green light, as you briefly mentioned, to see the job off. Crew sit top of the table, you know, and strong position to win promotion, and hopefully at the end of it, can try and win the title as well. That's a short term goal, is it, for you and the rest of the boys? Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's a short term goal. We want to, we want to win the league. We don't just want to get promoted. We want to do it comfortably. We want to win the league. We feel like we're the best team in the league. I've said this before. All the lads are confident that we're the best team in the gaffer. We we all think we're the best. Like we are the best, so we need to go prove it. We need to go and finish top of the tree. We want to finish top of the park, beat everyone else. That's what we want to do. We're not looking to just scrape in. We want to be right up there. So that's the short term goal. Yeah. It's brilliant to hear your enthusiasm for for somebody you know who's been here only two to three months. That you, what you've got for, for the football club, and it, it, it seems as though you're, you're really driven by what crew are offering to you as well. You know, you, you, you've got that feeling that it's only going to help your career progress. Yeah, of course, of course. Crew, crew give like they've given me a chance. At the end of the day, they've given me a chance. The gaffers give me a chance to give me an opportunity to prove myself to him, to the fans, to the like the Borough fans and the manager, he's given me a chance to prove myself. So I don't take that lightly. Like it's a it's a big opportunity for me, and I wanna I wanna to where I wanna like strive in this opportunity. I wanna be the best I possibly can to when maybe next season, hopefully, I'm trying to do the same in the Borough first team because that's my that's my goal. Like I wanna I wanna keep moving forward in my career be the best I can anywhere I am and they've given me the opportunity to do that so that's why I'm, that's why I'm so enthusiastic to, to be at my best for a crew and even anyone else I play for like Middlesbrough I'm 65 years of age next month so my memory's going a little bit Steve and especially when I'm not playing in the football world day in and day out are you number 32 at the Alex? 29 I knew I quite got it So, 29 shirt, brilliant to talk to you. Love to see a 29 on that wall with your England shirt, your Middlesbrough shirt, and on the shirt then, a Alexander Walker 29 promotion. How would that feel on your wall? Definitely. Unreal. Unreal. Oh, I'll, sh I'll show you this. I've got, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that was, my, that was my medal from last year. IMK. We need another one this year, don't we? But a gold one. <laughs> Brilliant. Great to talk to you. You take care.